This video demonstrates how to create an MSI X package from the existing MSI or XE installer. For this, I will use PaySuite application packaging solution. You can get a free trial at paysuite.com. Few words about the MSI X package format. This is a new universal Windows platform package. Every application runs inside the isolated MSI X container that enables safe and reliable app performance across the lifecycle and provides a clean uninstall. The new MSIX package has a very similar package structure, manifest in behavior to the Apex format. However, in contrast to Apex, the new MSIX format has better support for Win32 apps. The process of repackaging the existing MSI or XE installer to MSIX consists of two stages. First, monitoring or snapshotting the original installer, and the second, reviewing the captured results and building the MSI X package. Run Pace Suite Launcher. Click on Package Virtualize Lifecycle Stage. Here two options are available. Run capturing on the local host where Pace Suite is installed or on the remote dedicated virtual machine. The virtual machine must be configured and accessible. Let's choose local repackaging. The first step of the wizard shows the running non-essential processes and services that may produce a lot of system noise such as registry entries, temporary and log files. As this system noise influences the purity of the package, it is strongly recommended to temporarily disable these services. Next, select the capturing method. The monitoring method watches system changes in real time. It's a faster method. The snapshotting is based on comparing of two taken snapshots. You use this method to continue capturing after the system restart. If necessary, update the package name, project location, and set of exclusion filters that will filter out unnecessary resources which the operating system produced during the capturing. Then, at the installation step, select how to complete the repackaging process in the automated or manual mode. For the automated option, the source installer and arguments for the NetN installation must be specified. Let's use the manual mode to manually run the source installer or set of installers that should be repackaged. Once the pre-install scan is made, run the exe, msi or other installer that needs to be converted to msi x. Follow the installation dialogs and complete the source installation. After that, let the wizard know that the installation and configuration is completed. The completion step shows the created project and the capturing summary. Let's proceed with default settings to edit the project and build the MSIX package. In fact, MSIX package can be built from this project right now, on the package UWP tab. The project has all the required data and configuration for MSIX. However, it's recommended to review the captured results and manually find and exclude resources that are very likely can't belong to the installed app. For instance, temporary files produced by antivirus software and operating system. For this, go to the Files tab. Expand folders to see their content. To exclude the unnecessary resources from the package, select Exclude from the context menu. The excluded resources are displayed as crossed out with the yellow background. They will not be saved to the output package, but will remain in the project as excluded. In case the vital resources of the app were excluded by mistake, open the project at any time and include them back using the context menu. After excluding files and folders, go to the shortcuts apps UWP tab. PaySuite automatically creates MSIX apps from the captured shortcuts with the unique executable in the shortcut target. According to the Microsoft recommendations, one MSIX package should install only one app. To meet this recommendation, exclude the necessary extra apps using the context menu. And the last point is to check the registry tab. Identical to the file step, expand nodes and exclude unnecessary resources using the context menu. Unfortunately, there is no universal rule to detect unnecessary resources. Only studying the operating system registry and gaining the wider experience in packaging help better understand the purpose and the necessity of certain registry keys. 
most likely PaySuite automatically detected and excluded unnecessary resources. If the non SSHL window services were stopped and the predefined exclusion filters were applied. Finally, go to the package UWP tab. Here you can manage MSIX package settings. To have the ability to install the created MSIX package on the system for the testing purposes, edit the digital signature settings. Select the last option to generate the self signed certificate and sign the package with it. Set the password for the certificate. Note that the generated self-signed certificate must be manually installed to the certificate stored of the local machine, as described in this instruction. Other MSIX package settings will be covered in separate video manuals on our YouTube channel. To create the MSIX package from the project, click Build UWP. Note that the paste suite does not require any third parties to build the MSIX package. Find the created package in the Apex Output subfolder under the Project folder. Click Go to to open it. If needed, the Manifest and Package Root folder can be removed. They contain data from which MSIX package was created and can be used for reviewing the package content. To deploy the created MSIX package, first install the auto generated self signed certificate, as we have mentioned earlier, in the Edit Signature window. After that, you can install the created MSIX package. That is how MSIX package can be created from the existing MSI or XE installer with help of Pace Suite. Thanks for watching.